Good morning, degenerates, and welcome to another episode of Boring Crypto IO, a place where I read you the boring crypto news every morning, Monday through Friday, just so you don't have to. My name is not important. Let's get into it. Brazilian CBDC gets official name and logo. Guys, if you're not seeing a trend across the world right now, I don't know how to uh, make you unblind. <laughs> Moving on, breaking PayPal launches Pi USD stablecoin for payment. Um, yeah, Binance launched a stablecoin. I mean, excuse me, PayPal launched a stablecoin. Wow. Kathy Wood predicts SEC simultaneously allows multiple spot crypto ETFs. Uh, I'm not awake yet. This is, I think I got up too early. Another person predicting, guys, uh, that the only fair thing I'm assuming is that all of the ETFs get approved at once as opposed to one at a time. I think ARK Invest is um, deadline is this Friday, if I remember correctly. Um, outside of that, let's go to the market real quick and then we'll move on to uh, the important stuff. All right, guys, current market cap right now sitting at 1.16 trillion Bitcoin dominance, 48.8. Ethereum is 18.9, ticking down just a tad. And 17 way, we'll get you ETH transaction. Still sitting at 50, completely in the middle for the Fear and Greed Index. And sideways we are. Um, I'm going to blow through this super fast, guys. Not a lot going on in the market. Some things moving just a little bit per usual, but the overall sentiment is sideways. Bitcoin hasn't done shit the last few days. I'm going to see if there's any kind of big outlier. Algo at 6.65. To do Decentraland down 3.25. Synthetics down uh, 3.6. Yeah. I don't know. I, is this the calm before the storm? The, the market is very, very odd feeling right now. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's that. GMX down 5.21. You know, I, I'm, I've always been uh, transparent on this channel. I'm not trying to be like, act like I'm a super genius in a crypto space by any means. It's just, again, this is just a crypto news channel. That's all the only reason why I started it. Um, this is a really weird. Like, I, I, it, it, it's a very odd. The point of me saying that is, it, it's a very odd time in the space right now. Um, like there's some catalyst getting ready to like some build up. I don't know. And I, I don't know what direction it's going to go. Like I'm looking at charts and I'm looking at things and it's like, it's just weird. It's a very weird lull with no actual volatility. So yeah, guys, market completely sideways right now from what I see, at least in the top 100. Um, Bitcoin has completely stalled out. We're going to look at that. Let's just jump to Bitcoin. Why not? Bitcoin, 12 hour, still in that descending wedge uh, channel thing. We touched the bottom uh, of the trend line a couple times, bounced back off, respected it. And we're kind of touching the top of the trend line right now. Um, I wouldn't consider this a breakout. I would probably move the trend line out just a little bit and say we're touching the top because we are getting sold every time we touch it. As well as I told you guys yesterday, this is what I'm seeing a lot of traders look, look at and talk about. And I almost don't feel like this is even a pattern. Um, I, I feel like it's a reach. Uh, but this is what everyone's looking at, so why not look at it too? I don't know. I feel like this is just continued sideways action, and having this channel is just a little bit of bullish hopium to get people to watch people's channels. I gotta be honest, that's all I see. But if it is a thing, we're touching the bottom, we are respecting it, the bottom of the trend line and still kind of respecting the top. We've got, we have a little bit more time before it's decision time, right? If we did something like this. But that is one, two, technically three touches. I guess it's, a, I guess it's a thing. Um, yeah, man, I don't know. I really am at a loss for words. Um, there's just it's it's hard to make videos right now with, with not a lot going on, but in charts, um, 
But again, not really a trading channel. This is a news channel. Um, this isn't financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not even a good trader. I don't know what I'm doing half the time. So don't listen to me. I'm not smart. <laughs> but let's look at all the four hours, see if we see anything changing. I mean, man, this is this is as boring as it gets, guys. As boring as it gets. A little bit of bullish divergence way back over here, but we've just moved sideways since we got it. Yeah, man. I don't know what to say. Like, I'm I'm really reaching to try and make interesting videos, but whatever, you know can't control the market yeah um, I mean this could be a mini we're on the one hour right now this could be a uh, a mini bullish pennant that could break to the upside inside of our wedge right so this could be your bullish pennant Let's see the lines over here uh, I mean it could, we've I've always said it could go either way but Typically break to the upside, keep your eye on that. For breakout to potentially play this larger wedge pattern. Get an entry and make yourself some money. Outside of that, guys, again, I, nothing has changed. Over the last two weeks, nothing has changed. Our levels are the same, the patterns are the same. The movement has been literally sideways. So I'm just gonna move on to the news. Guys, pretty usual. If you have any questions about uh, crypto or want to pick my brain about what I'm seeing in charts, whatever, whatever, by all means, comments, um, ask your questions. Maybe I can help out. If not, I can point you in a direction to someone who can. Uh, moving on. All right. So guys, so before I get into this article, if you don't, like I said, if you don't see a trend that's, that's going across the world right now, um, it's time to open your eyes. Every country, every country that hasn't even approved crypto yet, so many countries that aren't even like crypto friendly, they are starting to create a CBDC. Why? If you're not even, and, and this is what this is what's going to happen too. They're going to push CBDCs as if they're crypto. We know that they're not. Most of us know they're not. But the general public will not recognize the difference. What they don't understand the difference yet. Um, but when here here's what i'm god I'm, I'm all over the place today guys i apologize here's what i'm getting at once banks and governments realize that they can digitize their money and people would be down for it they recognized all of the benefits benefits for them and this is why they're all pushing for it, it, it it's the only reason that makes sense in my mind control Control, control, control. I know that sounds crazy, but think about it. They can see anything you spend. They can. There's no way for them to get out of. You know, you know there's there's no. I wouldn't say tax loopholes because that's not really the correct way to say it. But there's no questions. Everything you do with your money will and can, or can and will be tracked. No more cash. No more peer to peer. None of that. They will tax you on everything you do anytime you move your funds to another person to a vendor anything they're gonna get their cut and as well as they can control it right that's 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 the really diabolical side too let's see if we get any deeper that, that if you do something your social credit score all this stuff that people are talking about that seems like super james bond movie your carbon footprint, blah, 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 blah. But they'll do it. They'll use it to control people. Why wouldn't they? That, there's no point to have a CBDC for any other reason. On top of all of this, all of the control, all of the diabolical shit, here's how they control the wealth in the world at this point. It's something that no one, not a lot of people are talking about. A handful of people are, but not a ton. And I think I've said this once on the channel. I don't know if, uh, I don't remember, but we're, we're going to say it again. So if you go to just a peer-to-peer peer, peer -peer transaction, you go to someone that you know, 
or a yard sale or a farmer's market, anything that deals in strictly cash. And you buy something, let's just use arbitrary numbers, something simple like you spent $100. Well, uh, that $100 now goes to Farmer Bob. And Farmer Bob now has $100. And Farmer Bob goes to, oh, I don't know, his friend Mike and buys a couch at the yard sale for hundred bucks. And so Mike now has that hundred dollars. That hundred dollars stays a hundred dollars anytime it's transitioning hands. So no matter what happens, that transfer of, I wouldn't say wealth, but that tra transfer of money stays the same and stays in the hands of the people that are using it, right? Okay, well, if you have a CBDC and we're using our phones or whatever way they come up with to uh, transfer funds from peer to peer, you better believe they're going to tack on fees, processing fees, bank fees, transaction fees, whatever you want to call it. So when you go and buy something at the farmer's market for Farmer Bob, and you spend $100. Well, Farmer Bob didn't get $100. Farmer Bob got 98.75. Then Farmer Bob goes to Mike and buys that couch and gets hit with another fee. And Mike didn't get $100. Mike got uh 95 point whatever and so on and so forth and down and down the road until that hundred dollars is no longer a hundred dollars that hundred dollars isn't worth anything um because the banks now control all of the money you're literally paying them to give money to people and then they'll control all the wealth at that point think about the the, the millions upon millions of of peer-to-peer -peer transactions that happen and by transactions i mean fiat transactions cash trackless transactions right um to where you're they're literally slowly over time fee you to death to where they control all of the money in the world and us in the middle us regular day everyday people are not us nine to five people have just no way of, of getting out of the system we're depending on them for all of our money Think about it. Anytime you get paid, it's taxed. Anytime you spend, it's taxed. Not only is it taxed, there are fees on top of it. Just chipping away, chipping away, chipping away until they control every single penny out there. So, these aren't good, man. And they're going to do everything they can to make it sound like they're, they're the wave of the future, that they're safe, that there's no diabolical fucking back plan, etc., etc., uh, I'm calling bullshit. How weird that, that the entire world, uh, or the majority of the world right now, isn't very much crypto friendly, but we're going to push CBDs across the world. Every government's in on it. Every freaking bank wants it. Weird. Super weird. All right, that's enough rambling. I apologize. Uh, I am still very much asleep, so it's taken me a lot to get my thoughts out or put together to get out. It takes a long time. I apologize. Let's just get to the articles and get you guys on with your day. Brazilian CBDC gets official name and logo. Previously commonly referred to as the Digital Real, the Brazilian Central Bank Digital Currency gets its own official brand name. whoop de doo Basil. The Brazilian Central Bank Digital Currency, previously commonly referred to as the Digital Real, has been given its official brand name, the Drex. <laughs> the Drex. Sounds like something from Star Wars. Uh, on August 7th, the Central Bank of Brazil issued a press release revealing and explaining the new brand for its CBDC developed by the Central Bank. The brand Drex is an acronym, D and R, all rude to real digital. The E stands for electronic and the X conveys the idea of modern, modernity of modernity. Uh, yeah. weird uh and connection the use of distributed ledger technology blah 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 all sounds like trash to me along with the brand name the central bank revealed drex's visual identity on the cbdc logo two arrows including the capital d picture of evolution of the nation of the uh, currency um the real to its digital version while the trans transition from blue to light green colors stands for why does this matter stands for transaction completed messages this isn't this is a boring ass article guys i'm sorry 
What a nothing burger of an article. In July, Pedro, whoever, a uh, blockchain developer and founder of tech consulting firm Laura Labs, has reportedly discovered functions in the Drex code that would allow a central authority, weird, to freeze and reduce balances. This is exactly, like, why is that even in the code? Why? Freedom, we're, we're here to, 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 you know, to keep your, you free and to protect you, but we're gonna control and freeze and reduce balances. Dude, this is shady shit, guys. Wake up one day and everything you have, everything you've, you know, all of your cash, your, your savings is now zero or frozen because you said something or you voted for the wrong political party or you got in a fight with your wife or vice versa. She got in a fight, or wife got in a fight with her husband or you spanked your kid or you bought too much gas or whatever. Pay attention. That's all I'm getting at. Last year, Fabio, uh, Fab Fabio, Fabio. Uh, an economist of Brazilian Central Bank explained that the CBDC has the potential to halt bank runs in the country. This is, and this is the bullshit they're going to push this as. Well, well we're, we're doing this so you, we, there will be no bank runs. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. So what you're telling me is you're doing this to save your ass if we want to get our money out. <laughs> Listen to this shit. I'm sorry, bank runs should be allowed in my opinion. Because why? Banks don't have shit unless we give it to them. But if I decide to take my money out of that bank, or if I get a group of people that believe what I believe, and we all decide to take our money at the same time, how dare us? How dare us try and take our money out of, our money out of the bank at the same time? Because that would collapse the bank. Well, fuck the bank absolutely insane last week central bank of russia also revealed its visual identity of its cbdc the digital ruble an international ruble symbol in an article logo comes for look i don't give a shit about what it looks like it's not important the central bank of russia also revealed its identity of its cbdc brazil russia the united states is looking at it depending on who's in office in the next term don't be fooled there's a reason for it there's nothing more than any government wants there's nothing that any government wants more than to stay in power how do they stay in power two ways control the food control the money they're working on both man this is this fucking diabolical shit sorry heavy heavy morning guys i apologize moving on breaking paypal launches pi usd stablecoin for payment Payment processing giant Pi PayPal launched crypto payments in 2020 and has since been actively involved in the sector. American financial technology company PayPal launched a new stablecoin called PayPal USD or Pi USD on August 7th. Uh, the US dollar peg stablecoin will be issued to Paxos, Trust Co., and fully backed by the US dollar deposits, short term treasuries, and silver cash equivalents. It's built on Ethereum and designed for digital payments and Web3, with the firm saying it will soon be available to United States customers. Uh, PiUSD will be redeemable for US dollars at all times, can be exchanged for other cryptocurrencies on PayPal, and will be transferable between PayPal and Venmo. Uh, the company claims it will soon be available as a mode of payment for various purchases. PayPal launching a stablecoin could accelerate its efforts to become crypto payment giant. Uh, an initiative the company started in 2020 after making way for crypto payments on the platform. So, double-edged sword here. This is great in the eyes of adoption, right? Anybody who keeps saying that crypto is going to zero, it's a fad, it's going away, it's not a thing. Um, this is definitely egg on their face, which is great for people like me that have been in the space since 2017 trying to tell people, dude, get in on this shit, um, pay attention. This is what's coming. Um, this is no small move for PayPal, but the caveat to this, and I've seen an article or two about it this morning, uh, or uh, not an article, I apologize, a tweet or two. Uh, what do you think this is? This is just PayPal CBDC, guys. Come on. Um, I guess in the code, in the code of this, this new, uh, PiUSD. 
same shit. The ability to freeze or change balances to anybody who's holding the token. Meaning you piss them off, someone claims fraud even though it wasn't, your balance instantly goes to zero and you are fucked. Side note too, um, PayPal has done this for quite some time. There are thousands of cases to where something happened where someone claimed fraud for no reason, uh, late shipping, whatever, and PayPal will literally freeze people's accounts forever that had thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars in them. And what do they do with that money, guys? Whatever the fuck they want. Don't be fooled is all I'm getting at. Uh, PayPal launching a stable coin could accelerate its efforts to become a crypto payment giant. Initiative company started 2020. Blah, blah, blah. We read that. Okay. PayPal boasts over 300 million active users and already lets users in the U.S. and the United Kingdom buy, sell, and hold Bitcoin, ETH, Bitcoin Cash. Why Bitcoin Cash? And Litecoin, uh, while also enabling payments in the assets. Uh, oh, my mouse froze. Interesting. All right. PayPal CEO Dan S Skullman hopes the new stablecoin will become a part of the overall payment infrastructure. The company first confirmed its plan to launch a crypto stablecoin in January 2022, claiming it would work closely with relevant regulators. While there are multiple stablecoins available in the crypto market, PayPal will be the first launched by a major payment processor. Paxos CEO Charles Cascarla, Cascaria? I don't know. I'm, I, I suck at, at last names. Told Cointelegraph. With the launch of the first stablecoin by a leading financial institution, PayPal and Paxos providing the real world value of blockchain technology, PayPal... USD is the most significant leap forward for digital assets and the financial industry. And Paxos is proud to enable this transformative product. I'm telling you, PayPal stablecoin is PayPal CBD. C, CBDC, sorry. <laughs> the firm, not, not CBD, like as in uh, CBD weed. <laughs> the first claim... Uh, the firm claimed that the regulatory environment around stablecoins in the U.S. is gradually progressing toward more clarity, and thus there is demand for an alternate stablecoin than what is currently available in the market. The crypto stablecoin market has $126 billion circulating supply, dominated by Tether, which has $86.5 billion market cap, and followed by Circle USD, CUSD. Uh, with a $26 billion market cap and a few others. However, many stablecoins have recently faced regulatory hurdles in the United States where policymakers are currently discussing a bipartisan stablecoin bill. It looks good. It sounds good. I ain't touching it. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. Comments down below. Kathy Wood predicts SEC simultaneously allows multiple spot crypto ETFs. Uh, I think it was Michael Saylor last week who said the same thing, if I remember correctly. Um, ARK Invest Management is one of the many firms looking for ways to offer U.S. investors exposure to crypto through exchange-traded funds. ARK Invest, um, which I think is coming up this week. I think ARK's uh, spot ETF is deadline, which they're just going to extend it, guys. Come on, let's be real. Uh, is Friday, if I remember correctly. Uh, I'm pretty sure it'll probably say in this article. ARK Invest Management Fund uh, founder, CEO Kathy Wood, has reportedly suggested the United States Securities and Exchange Commission will approve multiple Bitcoin, spot Bitcoin exchange, I'm sorry, spot Bitcoin ETFs at the same time. In August 7th interview with Bloomberg, Wood predicted the SEC would approve more than one ETF at once if it moves forward with any application currently under consideration. ARK Invest Management sent in one of the most recent spot bitcoin etf applications in june after amending the submission to include a surveillance sharing agreement wood's remarks were similar to a proposal by grayscale yeah that's exactly what i said last week the company currently suing the sec over its refusal to accept an application allowing its bitcoin trust to be converted to a spot Bitcoin ETF. In July, Grayscale's legal team submitted a letter to the SEC requesting a regulator approve all proposed spot Bitcoin ETFs at the same time to avoid one having an advantage over the other. The SEC has never approved a spot crypto ETF in the US, but has allowed the listing of crypto linked future ETFs as well as leveraged Bitcoin future ETF from Volatility Shares Trust. 
At the time of publication, the SEC has received crypto ETFs applications. We all know this from Invesco, BlackRock, Valkyrie, Vanek, Wisdom, Fidelity, and ARK Invest. Uh, Wood suggested ARK Invest spot Bitcoin ETF application deadline would be expected by the SEC or extended, excuse me, by the SEC. Is what I, I'm, we all know it's going to be extended. Uh, the U.S. financial regulator has until August 13th. August 13th. Which is Sunday, so again, either Friday or Monday. Uh, to either approve, reject, or delay. It's going to get delayed. Or shit, they might just reject it, but I doubt that. ARC's current application through an extension uh, or comment period. As ARC filed the paperwork in May of 2023, the SEC has a maximum of 240 days until January 2024 to reach a final decision. Uh, the risk to get a listing for a spot to crypto ETF in the U.S. has become a subject of scrutiny among many in the crypto industry and media, especially following a submission from BlackRock, the largest asset management firm in the world. Regulators in other countries, including Canada, have already approved similar spot ETF filings from crypto firms. This should be interesting or it's just going to extend it and it's going to be a big nothing burger. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, guys. I've rambled enough today. I'm not awake. I apologize. Weird, boring video. Um, looks like we are slightly breaking out from that flag that I showed you on the one hour. Again, which sucks, dude. I hate that when this happens before I get a video out. This flag right here. Let's go. Let's change this to blue. Just so you guys can see it. Blue. This potential flag right here, right? So, looks like we're potentially breaking out. We got a fake out here. Let's make this bigger. We have already had a fake out right here. We're doing it again. This could potentially be the breakout. Keep your eye on it. Or might even do it like this something like that which actually looks way better that means it is decision time right now okay uh keep your eyes eye on this breakout this could be the breakout you're waiting for on the one hour um what's it look like on the seven minute before we get out of here oh that looks juicy on the seven minute nice this might be it um Keep your eye on it, guys. That's all I can say. Uh, back to the four hour. All right, we might be breaking out. Look for a retest. Keep your eye on volume. Um, yeah, that's it, guys. All right, that's all I've got for you this morning, guys. If you do enjoy the content I provide here for you every morning on Boring Crypto IO, please, by all means, subscribe to the channel. Turn on the bell for notifications. Watch, share, watch, like, and share all of the videos on all of your social platforms. It'll help the channel out immensely. Let's get some uh, crypto adoption going, some crypto awareness. Let's spread the word. Let's make some money. I apologize for the uh, <laughs> the long rambling no thoughts put together video this morning guys i'm just not awake i'll see you guys right early tomorrow morning i'm out of here